Guardian Mommy, and good evening to all the ministers in the house and everyone that is here. I'd like to invite every fountain that serves on the bus to Taiwan or anywhere in the world to be upstanding. You know, it's, um, it's difficult to talk about a man that is so simple, so open, so easy to read. Because everybody is going to say the same thing. Because Pastor is a consistent man. He's not fake. He doesn't have different faces for different situations. He's one and the same person and you can trust that whoever you know Pastor to be, that's exactly who he is. But I'm representing my colleagues who are pastors that serve under him. And I'm going to read some words that I try to put together to describe him, you know, quickly, because I want to give some context to the words. Pastor Taiwo is humble to a fault. We all know that. He's a man of the highest integrity. You'd wonder how he teaches people integrity. It's not by teaching it. Is by being it, and he taught us that there's no compromise for the pastor. Pastor Ben Akabu is a road to tribute, and in his tribute, he said he served when he was chief executive of a financial institution in his daytime calling. One of his members, one of his staff, was a member of our church, and somehow out fraudulently made some money and they tracked it and they found part of it was money that he gave as offering in the church. And he, being a pastor as well, called Pastor Tyro. We all know many records of incidences and said to Pastor, this is what happened with this gentleman, these are the facts. Pastor would say, eh? What did we do as a church? Every dime of the offering that came from that guy was returned to that institution. That's the fountain of life church, but more than that, that's the pastor that is called Pastor Daniel Tyler Lukoy. And therefore, he taught every man who served under him, if you want to serve God, you can only serve him with integrity. Sincere, he was sincere in everything. He was an open book. He was a simple man. Pastor, in trying to encourage every young tailor in church, he wore every jacket, whether perfect or imperfect. Ankara, everything. He just wanted to make sure people were prospering, that felt good that they dressed pastor. And we would laugh, but it was okay. That was just as pastor. He was the most respectful. Someone already demonstrated it for you. You have to bow quickly before pastor bows for you, because he was just in his nature. A pastor was a kingdom builder, not an estate builder. He was not interested in building Tyro Decoy and estates. No. All he wanted to do was to build the kingdom of God and nothing more. When I think of Pastor Taiwo and I think of uh, the song, Take the Stage, Lord, Have Your Way, I'm Just a Vessel, nothing more. That's who he was. He was nothing more than a vessel. All he wanted to do was to leave and let God take the glory for his life. So in his pain and in his joy, he gave everything back to Jesus, never keeping anything for himself. The day Pastor being more past, and they came to give him the message. Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, as they told him, he sat, took, went from the edge of the seat where he was sitting, on his knees on the floor, bowed his head, started worshiping God. He was crying when he was worshiping his God. We, we could only keep him away from the Thursday showers after. The Sunday immediately after, he insisted he was going to church. Why? He said the people need to be encouraged. He is the one who lost his wife. We, the people, are the one he was worried about. Ha! Ah, you're wondering who our pastor was. He was contented in himself. Total content. Had no inordinate ambition. Whenever we were sure that our offering and all our tithes were safe in this house, and they were used for all those kind of works that you saw. Oh, the boys. Um, we had a kitchen where anybody can go and eat. We're doing one million and one things trying to change the lives of other people. Because Pastor Daniel Taiwo Dukaya was not trying to build a kingdom. In fact, when they built him a house, it was because the church said, okay, you're going to be 50. You will own your own house. 
Because he was not going to touch anybody's money, but yet he was ready to die serving the same people that he was called to. That's a pastor. He was totally non-materialistic. Same thing as what I've told you. Caring for others. That was pastor's second day job. I don't know how many testimonies we have of what he did. Now, what I want you to note is that everything he was doing was in teaching us how to pastor. He showed us by example, not by words. He called, he will, he will always tell us that he was called to raise leaders. You know, when people used to think when Pastor Bimbo died, that Fountain would die, they didn't understand Pastor Tyler. Pastor was called to raise leaders. Pastor Bimbo Dukai was the first fruit of his ministry. And never after, he raised a million and one fruits. If you're a fruit of Pastor Taiwo's ministry, I want your hand up. We're unashamed, we're proud of the man who gave his life to raise us. We're proud of the man who taught us what we know. Most of us never thought about ministry. I'm being honest. Me, I'm a Muslim girl that had no plan for anything to do with all of this. But just from going to the fellowship, that they were having before starting the church. One day, pastor walked in and said, you, the Lord said you will head the business fellowship. I'm looking at the man, head which business fellowship in the church that has not even started. But did I not head that business fellowship for many years? Did I not gain from it and did my business not get built up because I was serving in a ministry that was called to that? Like someone said, he was a seer. He always saw the future before we could see it. And for each and every one of us, he saw the hand of God in our lives before we ourselves could see it. Pastor Taiwo is a nurturer, invested time in nurturing and in teaching. You know, one of the things that would forever make me love my pastor, one day, someone called me and asked for a meeting. Why? He said, how can you run a ministry as big as Christian Missionary Fund? and be a serving pastor in a church. I didn't understand because that was the only thing I knew. The only way I knew was the way of my pastor. I didn't know that it was an abnormality that in some other churches you could not have a ministry that seemed wasn't competing but in some churches either the ministry comes under the church or you shut down the ministry. I didn't even understand what the call was. When I told Pastor Taiwan that I had a dream to do something, something with missionaries, the man laughed, went to his very rich library, brought out some books, gave me homework, said, take, go and read Pastor Blessing. When I finished reading, the next time he called me in church, he said, come, I've set up some missionaries from Kapu to come and talk to you. They were waiting for me in church to come and uh, explain to you what missionary work in Nigeria was. The next time, called me and said, okay, even though I just had a baby, you're going to go to mission school. I said, hey, he said, yes. Christian Missionary Foundation is running a mission school at uh, Four Square in Yaba. One month, Monday to Thursday, every sent me there. By the time I finished the school, I understood the call. And I'm sure that 95.5% of the time that Christian Missionary Fund held an event, Pastor Taiwo was sitting there, he was present, and he always came. I'm just saying he's a, he's a natural. He not just, he does not just encourage you. He not just the vision in all of our hearts. When he sends you forth, he sends you, backing you up every step of the way. Let me tell you one most unusual thing about my pastor. Have you seen a pastor that comes one day and says that all the parishes that we have as a church in Nigeria, that as the Lord called him, he called all the pastors there too. That so on that day, even though Pam Fountain had invested in the setup of all of those churches across the country, he released all of them. He said, everything invested in your church, I give you. Go and prove your call and the ministry of the Lord in your life. He called you the way he called you. No materialistic instinct in Pastor Taiwo's life. That's what he taught us about ministry. He's a compassionate, selfless man. Pastor never thought about himself. Always. Pastors, think about yourself a little bit, please. But our pastor never thought about himself. Always, always, always thinking about us. He had an irrepressible spirit. I have to now find a simple way to explain that. You know, full of energy, enthusiasm, it was impossible to stop. You know, Pastor, I can jump from there to here. 
He can sing, he can love. He, he, I don't he, I cannot even explain the man because there are no words that can capture Pastor Taibo as he was. Every pastor had full access. We don't have a pastor that you are shaking to see. No, we had a man, a human being who had feelings for other people. A father, a lover, a carer. We had a man who had a heart like Christ. Thought about you before you think about yourself. A man who was in your corner before anybody decides that they want to help you. A man who fights your battle before you even know you're in the middle of the battle. That was my society to call it. Generous to effort. I, I don't even know how many tributes we've received of people that we did not know where Pastor Taiwo met them and somebody said that he sent me 200,000 and he sent 200,000 and he did this, I was in England, I had a child that was autistic and he did this. I don't know when the man gets to heaven. Right now I'd like to see how many stars are on his crown. <laughs> you know, there's a song, are you there? Okay, there's a song that I just want to say the words so that you can understand. But it, there's just, okay, you know what, just because I want to be to pastor. I want everybody to get up and just, if you're a fountainer, get up and just say the chorus of this song. The choir is going to sing this song in a few minutes. But I want us, I want the largest choir in the world to sing to pastor as in, as in every now. I want not the choir just singing it on behalf of us. I want him to hear our voices as you say, Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am a life that was changed.